Hello, this is Pete, your Kickstarter support guy. I thought I'd give a quick demonstration and compare our mobile app experience to the web app experience. So at the taking our mobile app here, you have view of all your contacts. Uh, you'll have a view of your schedule that's only events that are assigned to you. And it's only today's events. No history and nothing in the future right now. We'll update that. Uh, in the next month or so and then of course you have all your invoices that are, that are available to you so but the main questions come from how does the schedule work uh, one thing I should point out too is you have you have a long laundry list of events for the day you can use our sort feature here and it'll sort it by the hour so just like so and <clears throat> so once you do have your event, what can you do with this app today? Well, uh, I'll quickly show you the event scheduled time. Uh, it will default to your directions. You can hit this arrow right here and hide that. You'll show that it's a, who is it assign, assigned to. In this case, it's just me. Uh, you can add some hours. The technician can add his hours or her hours to this by... Um, Type them in there. Uh, they could hit billable charges and that will take them over to the charge list. I'll show you that in a minute. And add, add some more hours there. Scrolling on down. And here's where they can also add some charges. And just so you know, these are not uh, editable. So once they add them here, they're part of the invoice. You, know, you got to tell it how many of what you want. So there you go, I got some charges in there. And we will show this in the website. And I'm looking at job 10179. So it's right here. And so you'll see the charges that I'm that I've been adding as we're going along. And again, we can you the technician can't remove them, but uh, you can remove them from from here from the website uh, what else they can add some notes so this is what happened uh, they can take um, a picture by clicking the the camera here say they're doing plumbing so they take a picture of maybe the faucet they're on I'll show you that all right so he takes a picture of the faucet he's working on uh, use this photo. So now I'm just going to show a thumbnail here where you'll see it actually is in the website is where they can download it and view it. It doesn't quite, has not gotten here yet. Oh, it's pushed done. I pushed done here. Now it will. Let's try that again. Okay, so I think I fixed this problem of uh, adding the note here. Let's try it again. All right, so this is what it'll look like once you get the note um, added to your job. We'll go to the this job I've changed to uh, 559. So I'll show you that real quick. So this is what it'll look like once you add the picture. This will show up on the website. All right, and one of the last things I wanted to demonstrate too was the invoicing. So we show all the invoices, uh, despite them being uh, your invoice or not. So if you're out on a job and you've created the invoice or you're on another job site and you, you have the opportunity to collect a uh, signature or a payment, you can do so. So I'm just going to take any of these just randomly and show you this. Um, so up here, you can add the plus sign. Click on the plus sign, which will take you to the payments so your technician can add a payment, add a note for the payment and the amount. Uh, he or she also can get an approval while she's out there. So here it's stating that it uh, asks you for a reason for the uh, signature if you need one. So you can put in whatever uh, you guys decide and then click uh, next. 
and then it takes you to the signature and it's sideways and then you're gonna click save all right so now we've collected that signature and that signature will show up as you've seen in the notes section um, they can mark this job as uh, paid if they collected a payment they can also email it to your customer too by clicking uh, the send. I don't have an email set up for this customer by the for the moment. But the mobile and the website should work uh, pretty seamlessly, seamlessly just like that. Yeah, if you have any further questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.